The Washington Redskins will look to take down an NFC North opponent for the second week straight when the Green Bay Packers visit Sunday, November 20th in Week 11 NFL action. The season seems to be slipping away from the Packers, but they're only one game back in the NFC North thanks to some help from the team that they're trying to beat this weekend. The Redskins are a short favorite in this spot, and the two and a half line has been juiced since it opened. The Green Bay Packers are now four and five straight up and five and four against the spread on the season. It's very rare to see the Packers with just 24.8 points per game, but offensive woes have been the story so far this season. It's important to remember that the Packers started the year three and one straight up and against the spread, but it all went downhill from there. Injuries have really done a number on the Packers this season. There aren't many healthy offensive linemen heading into this game, and the team is still trying to figure out a running game with Eddie Lacy on IR. Aaron Rodgers has put up decent numbers in recent weeks, but many pundits and scouts seem to be turned off by his performance. Rodgers has completed 63% of his passes with a 22 to seven touchdown interception ratio on the season. He's been sacked 22 times, and he's the team's second leading rusher with 37 attempts for 226 yards. Some of those are out of necessity. Others are because the running game has been pathetic without Lacey. Jordy Nelson is having a fine season in his return from a torn ACL with 50 catches for 635 yards. Devontae Adams also has 50 catches for 621 yards. The Packers are lacking explosive plays with just 10.3 yards per catch. Mike McCarthy's play calling has been under scrutiny this season, but now it's just about Rodgers not having enough time to go downfield. This is not a great matchup for the Packers defense. Green Bay stacks up pretty well against the run with only 3.6 yards per carry allowed. The problem is that the Redskins don't have much of a running game. The Packers secondary has been full of walking wounded this season. Demarius Randall wasn't healthy enough to get back into the lineup last week though his prospects are a little bit better this week. Quinton Rollins has only had 13 tackles and four pass breakups because he's been hurt. Clay Matthews also has just 13 tackles and three sacks because of injuries. Sam Shields is on IR due to concussion problems. The Packers have not been healthy at all this season and have only forced 10 turnovers in nine games. The Washington Redskins are 5-3-1 straight up and 6-3 and against the spread. Washington is 7-2 to the over, even though they've only averaged 23.6 points per game this season. Washington started 0-2 straight up and against the spread, then won four games straight, and now they are riding a two-game against the spread winning streak. When the Redskins have run the ball, they've had success, but there's a reason that they have 226 rushing attempts against 355 passing attempts. Kirk Cousins has completed just over two-thirds of his passes, for 2,716 yards with a 14 to seven touchdown interception ratio. For Cousins, there's been more volume in terms of yardage than production. With the fourth most passing yards in the league, the Redskins are just 14th in passing touchdowns, tied with the Denver Broncos and the Dallas Cowboys. Kirk Cousins spreads the ball around the six different guys as Jamison Crowder, Pierre Garcon, Jordan Reed, Deshaun Jackson, Vernon Davis and running back Chris Thompson all have 26 or more receptions. The Redskins are sixth in total yards, but 16th in points. The best adjective to describe Washington's defense is just average. They rank in the middle of the pack in a lot of different categories. There are two interesting stats though that could have an impact on this game. The Redskins have allowed the fourth highest completion percentage against at 67.4% this season. That means that they've had some issues in press coverage because they haven't given up a ton of long passing plays. Against an Aaron Rodgers led offense, that's not good. On the other hand, the Redskins are sixth in sacks with 25, which is good against this patchwork offensive line. It will be interesting to see if the Redskins stay aggressive to get pressure on Aaron Rodgers, or if they try to incorporate some more zone coverages and rush four against a weak offensive line. The Washington Redskins should be in decent shape in this particular spot, though the Packers injury report could dictate a lot about this line move. Green Bay has a plethora of problems in the secondary and on the offensive line, which are two very key advantages for Washington. If some of those guys make it back into the mix, Green Bay may be a little bit more attractive at this number. 
For now, Washington is the preferred side, but watch those injury reports closely. For now, our pick and prediction is the Washington Redskins at minus two and a half. For our pick and prediction on this game and every other game this week, and a wealth of free stats and information, check out bangthebook.com.